Can you tell me this? What is it about food that is that is such a celebratory thing that so uh, shares community, builds relationships, and, and can tap into joy that we really don't see in our lives? Uh, it's so basic. It, it is just about sharing. Well, it's 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 really sharing love, but it's it's when when you sit around the table with beautiful food around you, um, you, you've you done it. It's the easiest way of pleasing people and giving to people yep. that you can do. And you have to separate out when people cook because they think they just have to when and when people cook because they want to share what they're doing and share the... The, the love of food with the people around them. Yeah. You know, there, there are two different streams happening here that we have to pull together. I know you're passionate about the kind of food that is served up in this sector, uh, food that's good and food that's not so good. Um, a lot of the time regulations are to blame. Well, it's not that I've done a lot of work with Ham and Care, but I was absolutely, when I read something that Stephen yes. Dunn wrote, I knew this was a man I wanted to get to know. <laughs> and, and he's been a great help to me in demystifying regulations um, because this is so important to me, um, and as it should be to every single one of us, that, that we should be giving a beautiful food life to everyone that is, dare I say, trapped in aged care. And what I was finding from experience in South Australia, and it has continued outside of South Australia, that regulations were hampering um, things that should have just been so natural, uh, and I just couldn't let it go. Um, and it's continued, it's become an obsession now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all your fault. How are we going to, I want to be practical, how are we going to okay. deal with the, the regulators? Okay. How are you going to engage with them and, and bring about change, because that'll be tough. Well, the thing that I was so excited about talking around the table at lunchtime was the fact that um, uh, Having Care have already made the move to put someone in place to, um, uh, to argue against regulations that have no, no reason for being, you know, no grounding yes. in science, if you like. You can't just, it's so easy just to accept regulations as the easier way to Ground do everything. Zero, think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But we have to prove, like I'm in my export kitchen, I'm continually pushing the boundaries and getting the local CSIRO or IMVS to, to change their mind because I show them a profile and a history of, of, of doing something better. So we can't just accept it. And but you need the grunt of the research to back it up. You need the grunt of the research because the aged are, are vulnerable people. We cannot be um, uh, cavalier about this. But with, with research to back up, why? And, um, you know, you don't just tell me why I can't... I have to boil an egg for 70 I minutes. I, I want to. Want to I want to know <laughs> why you tell me that, yeah. you know. Can I ask, I round our discussion off by just asking a couple of more things about you and, you and food as well. You speak of a good food life. Can you kind of break that down again, be practical? Like, so what does that <laughs> mean? I'm so practical, yes. but not. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, a good food life, well, everyone deserves a good food life, although I don't know how anyone who just eats to live gets it. <laughs> a good yeah. food life, that is. But a good food life is... is um, understanding where your food comes from, asking questions about how it was grown, um, taking part in the responsibility of looking after your land and encouraging others to do the same. Um, being aware of seasonality, so uh, because when things are in the peak of their season and can be if you're in an area where soft fruits are grown and can be picked right, you'll never know the flavour any better ever in your life than something picked off the tree and, and eaten like that. So when you understand the seasons, you not only know how to 
um, buy most efficiently because it costs less, because it's in peak, um, it, it, it has the best flavour you will ever have. And then it's about empowering. Uh, you are empowered when you know how to cook with confidence. And, um, and by that is when you have confidence in, in your cooking ability, as simple as it needs to be, um, it's just joyful. You know, it's not a task. It's, it's not hardship. It's a celebration. And then it comes to sharing your table. Sharing your table and bringing people around your table. I mean, it's... it's Maggie Beer, uh, this has been an absolute treat personally for me and I'm sure for everyone here. Thank you so much. For Thank, you, Thank you, Lee. Thank you. Thank you.